Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ashley Evans, and you're watching Black Onyx, bringing you face to face with some of South Africa's leading asset managers. Today, I'm sitting with Len Jordan, who is head of ETF distribution at APSA Bank. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Len, what is a high growth equity ETF? So, our research would indicate that there are risk premia in the South African market, um, that if you're exposed to those, risk premium, you'll get a return in excess of what the market as a whole will give you. By far the best performing risk premium in South Africa is the momentum factor. So what that tries to do is it tries to invest in 20 or, or the, the, the top 20% um, performing stocks over the last year. And the reason for that is a, a behavioral economic theory is, is that as people see share prices going up, they want to participate in those uh, upwardly moving share prices. And so you get a lot of money coming into shares as their price goes up and that tends to keep those share prices going up because obviously there's, there's an excessive demand. So it's not a bad strategy to kind of follow the market and purchase shares that have a, a, an upwardly mobile share price. Another uh, strategy that works very well is low volatility um, and that is buying shares that tend to have a very stable share price so that aren't uh, highly volatile and aren't highly influenced by what's going on in the rest of the market, uh, what we call low beta stocks. So what we've done in our high growth fund is we've tried to maximize your equity uh, potential return and we've skewed our portfolio. Uh, what we do is we assign a, a multi-factor score to stocks and we weight that score as 75% momentum, 25% low volatility and on a long-term basis that gives you a very good outperformance over what the market would have given you. In addition to trying to maximize your equity return, we're also trying to minimize your equity losses. And we do that by allocating some of the portfolio to cash when the portfolio starts to lose money or when there's a spike in volatility uh, in the equity market. So it's a dual process. We're trying to maximize your return when equities are doing well, and we're trying to minimize your losses when equities are performing poorly. And what is a moderate equity fund? So the moderate fund is a portfolio that invests uh, in equities predominantly. We use a multi-factor score to try and maximize your return. So in the moderate fund, we use 50% low volatility and 50% uh, momentum. Um, that will typically do very well when markets are trending upwards. Um, to try and minimize your losses though, we will invest in cash or sell equity invest in cash when volatility spikes or when your uh, e equity starts to lose, lose value. So it tends to have a, quite a defensive structure when markets are declining, but quite an aggressive structure when, when markets are improving. And so um, it will sit probably about 75% in equity and 25% in cash on a long-term basis, which would be called a moderate uh, fund in terms of the ASISA uh, categorizations. Can you give us an overview of a defensive equity fund? The defensive equity ETF um, invests in defensive equities. So in this case, we will only invest in low volatility shares. Uh, and those are shares that have a low volatility in their own right and also have a low beta, which is their sensitivity to what's happening to the equity market as a whole. Um, it has an 8% uh, an targeted volatility, so if volatility in the equity market is above 8%, a, a, a large portion of this, this portfolio will be invested in cash and the majority will be in equity. On a long-term basis, we think that about 30%, 30 to 40% allocation to equity um, and, a, and a 60 to 70% allocation to cash. And then, what is a low volatility fund? So the low volatility ETF tries to only invest in stocks that have a low standard deviation and a, a low beta. A standard deviation is just essentially how volatile the share price is. Uh, we, we try to invest in shares that um, don't have a very volatile share price. The model tends to like highly cash generative businesses. So it likes property stocks, it likes banks, it likes consumer staples. Um, you know, th those kind of uh, stocks that tend to be quite defensive, even in downward markets, people are buying food, so it would like pick and pay. Uh, it likes Anheuser-Busch, so obviously South Africans like to drink, uh, and it likes property stocks typically because they generate quite a high yield from a rental perspective. The logic behind that is that while there's a positive relationship between risk and return when you're considering asset classes as a whole, the, the relationship between risk and return is actually negative once you break down um, equities as an, as an asset class. So being exposed to low volatility shares actually rewards you relative to the market and it rewards you a lot relative to high volatility stocks. So it's a good idea to try and avoid the volatile stocks and invest in, in, in the lowest volatility stocks. And essentially what, we what we've done is we've written that into an index 
and, and we just track what the index tells us to do. So it's a highly systematized process. There's no active um, overlay. We don't second guess the process. We just buy what the index tells us to buy and sell what the index tells us to sell. And thank you so much for joining us. That's all we have time for today. And thank you for watching Black Onyx.